and welcome to today's edition of the News in Brief on the Graphic Online. In the headlines, trial of former Deputy Finance Minister Atu Forsen fails to start today. We will tell you why. A man of God is wanted for arson and theft of 40,000 cities in the Western region. Mob lynches man for stabbing another to death during drinking bad disputes in Kumase. And in sports, black stars face off the commerce tomorrow with their fate far from settled. <laughs> And now the news in brief. The trial of former Deputy Minister of Finance, Dr. Kissel Atuforsen, and two others has been adjourned to tomorrow, Tuesday, January 18, due to the failure of one of the accused persons, Sylvester Anemana, to show up in court owing to ill health. Dr. Forsen, who is also the National Democratic Congress Member of Parliament for Ajumaku Inyan Isiem, has been charged along with Sylvester Anemana, a former Chief Director of the Ministry of Health, and Richard Jackpa, a businessman, for allegedly causing financial loss of 2.37 million euro to the state in a deal to purchase some 200 ambulances between 2014 and 2016. Dr. Forsen and Jackpa were in court on Monday when the case was called, but Animana was absent. Animana's lawyer, Mr. Alex Oredu Dankwa, informed the Accra High Court that his client had a condition and therefore goes for medical care on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Some NDC MPs and top personalities of the party were at the court to support Dr. Forsen. Minority Chief Whip Mohamed Mubarak Muntaka tells journalists that the prosecution of NDC MPs by the state is to intimidate them. However, it will not work. The game is to intimidate, to frustrate, and to think that they can weaken our spirit. No, they can't. In fact, they are rather strengthening and gluing us together. Yes, because you will draw speakers, they say, you are bringing out to the court, you are charging uh, Dominic Eini because of the Arungu market, <laughs> that's new, this assembly. You are bringing uh, uh, Kwesin, criminalizing him when he wrote a letter to e, a letter commission before he filed. You are charging the uh, Akutia MP. You know, you can just see the frustration. And so shameful that they forget that there's a democracy. And unfortunately, this is being led by so-called learning. Believe me, they are rather strengthening our, our, our Because now they are making us even glue together. Now we know that every one of us is in danger. Uh -huh. So it's better we glue together. And I can tell them, they can choose to withdraw all the skills that follow all the 137 of us. They can choose to even take all our salary because they think they are in the executive. But believe me, it is rather going to strengthen us. But they remember, nothing lasts forever. In the Western region, a pastor of the Mega World Chapel International at Inchi Kenneth Mensa, alias Obrimpon, is on the run for bolting with 40,000 cities belonging to a congregant, Rosemond Amwafo, who was planning to travel to the United Kingdom. Mensa, age 40, reportedly set Rosemond's house ablaze while she slept before bolting with the money. According to an eyewitness, the pastor is said to have advised Rosemond to hand over the money for prayers to spiritually prepare her for the trip. After collecting the 40,000 CDs, Pastor Mensa gave her something to drink, which put her to sleep. The victim, however, survived the fire due to the swift response from the Ghana National Fire Service. The Divisional Police Commander, Chief Superintendent Nanakuma Kumi, confirmed the incident and urged the public to help arrest the pastor, who is believed to be hiding in Accra, Tema, Cape Coast, Inche, or Elubu. To another sad story in the Shanti region, where a man suspected to be mentally ill has been lynched by a mob on Sunday evening at Kuchi, near Kumasi in the Shanti region. This was after the man identified as Sharif, age 28, stabbed his friend Nana Buachi, 25, during an argument. The two friends reportedly went to a drinking spot where the misunderstanding occurred, leading to a fight. Sharif reportedly stabbed Nana Buachi with a knife, which led to his death. The mob then descended on Sharif and lynched him. The Ashanti Regional Police Public Relations Officer, ASP Godwin Ahianyo, has confirmed the incident and says the police have since taken the two bodies to the morgue. In sports, the Black Stars of Ghana will tomorrow Tuesday face off the Comoros to seek to advance to the next round of the African Cup of Nations tournament. The team, after losing their opening game against Morocco, managed to draw with Gabon last Friday 
leaving the Black Stars with no option but to win the last Group C match to guarantee progress. Ghana has just one point from the two matches at the tournament following a 0-1 defeat to Morocco and a 1-1 stalemate with Gabon last Friday. Tomorrow's clash in Garua is therefore a make-or-break affair for Ghana's Afghan campaign. The stakes are high for the Stars, who will exit the tournament if they fail to beat the Comoros that have nothing to lose tomorrow. The Stars are also looking to end a 40-year Afghan drought, which has seen them lose at three finals in 1992, 2010 and 2015. News and Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echa Safo. Subscribe now.